Joining me today is Karen Daly from Echo Title. Just to give buyers and sellers an idea about trends in real estate, based on what you're seeing, do you think it's a buyer's market or seller's market? So it's still a very strong seller's market, Chrissy. Okay. I'm still seeing where the sales prices, the contracts that are coming in, um, the sales prices are either at or above the list. You guys have said that you have seen for five of your contracts, no financing contingency whatsoever. It could mean that they could buy it for cash and that's how they write the contract, which is fine, right. but they're choosing to get a loan behind the scenes, but they're trying to perhaps compete against other yes. buyers and they want their offer to be accepted. Right, because sellers like when there's no financing. The less contingencies you have, the, the less risk. risk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, regarding uh, financing, when people uh, do get financing, many times they have to have an appraiser, but people are waiving the appraisal. Right, um, so they're confident, and if they have a lender, mm -hmm. the lender is confident that the house is going to appraise at the contract price, which may be above the list price. Or it could also be the buyer is putting so much money down that there's less risk for the mm -hmm. lender. So yeah. they're like, okay, you put so much skin in the game. It's okay. Yes. Another uh, thing that people need to be aware of, Virginia is a buyer beware state. Buyers can do a home inspection. However, we've seen that for six of your last 10 contracts ratified, six had no home inspection contingencies whatsoever. Right. Okay, so that sellers like that. They do because you don't have to worry about a home inspector coming in and throwing a monkey wrench in a deal. You get a 70 page home inspection and yeah. then a two page addendum saying fix 20 things or mm -hmm. give me a bunch of money. Right, exactly. So sellers like not having to deal with that. Okay, um, next question, just real quick. Are you seeing any trends that might be alarming or? So we are seeing pretty much every week a some contracts come in where a seller's identity is being stolen. Okay. So typically it tends to be with raw land where there's no mortgage and the seller lives maybe not locally. Um, they may live in another jurisdiction or even out of state. Okay. Um, and then on the flip side, there are buyers now who are pretending to be buyers and they're writing bad checks and then canceling the deal and the title company doesn't realize that it was a bad check. And, and the so check you're talking about is the earnest money deposit. Yes, okay, yes, so the money, yes. they're putting in an offer, they're saying, here's $5,000. Mm -hmm. And then before that process is through your escrow, they yes. then cancel it? Right, and then okay. they say, we want our money back and we want it now. Okay. Um, and so then the title company will send the money back and then learn several days later that it was a bad check and then they're out, you know, several thousands of dollars. So that is popping back up too. So the biggest message I'm telling realtors right now is be the Sherlock Holmes of real estate. Great stuff. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Thanks guys for joining us. And please reach out to Karen with any title questions or real estate questions. And of course you guys know me. So if you want to buy or sell real estate, please reach out. Thank you. Thank you.